Now scientists make models all the time and they use those models to answer questions because science is asking questions and trying to answer them in a certain way. And we like to use evidence and data to support our hypothesis. So we're going to spend most of the time today just making a model. And this particular model is a flying model. And we're going to use that model today. We're going to make it, and then tomorrow we're going to use that model in an investigation. We're going to cut this pattern completely out. Now, even though there's a dotted line here, you might want to just go ahead and draw across that line, because we're going to cut out this pattern. It's a pattern that we're going to use to make our model. In this pattern, I want you to cut out the two parts. We have a wing and we have a tail. So I'm going to go ahead and cut mine out, and then you can cut yours out. So I'm going to start by cutting straight across this dotted line, and I'm just going to, I'm not going to make any of these other cuts until I cut this thing completely out. Do your best to cut it nice and straight, because the better your pattern is, the better your model will be. Notice how I turn the paper to make it easier to cut. This design was made by a member of the um, Academy of Model Aeronautics, the AMA, the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And it is a good flyer if we follow the pattern. Okay, so there's my first part right there. And here's my second part right here that I need to cut out. And once again, don't worry about this slot right here. Go ahead and cut that right across it like that. And I'll end up with two pieces just like that. Show you is this is what we're going to end up making. This is a model plane, and we're going to use that right there to cut out in paper first and lay on a foam plate to make this three-dimensional plane that we're going to use for science investigations. Two parts: the wing and the tail. There are some small cuts we have to make, and these small cuts are called slits. And there's four of them on the wing and two of them on the tail. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take my scissors and right in the middle here, make one cut. And right in the middle here, make one cut. When I do that, when I do that, this little piece right here will fold up and down. See how this piece folds up and down when I do that? So I want to do it over here to this side. Here's cut number three on the wing. Number four. Then it goes up and down. Okay? On the tail, the same thing. These are just one single cut. One, two. And this will bend up and down. Go ahead and make your six cuts in your model. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now it's time to cut the slots. And there are two slots. If you take a look here, there's a slot on the wing and a slot here on the tail. It says the word slot. Now, watch how I cut these. I'm going to make these a little bit larger, but not as large as the white. So watch. I'm going to cut down right about here like this. And I'm going to cut another piece right about that. And when I do that, a little piece will be left in the middle. See that little piece right there that I can pull out. And now I have a slot in the middle of my plane right here. So I'm going to do the same thing on this one, on the back slot of the tail. Make one cut like this, one cut like that, and that little piece pops out the back. So I'm going to pull that little piece out. Don't make these too big. If you notice, I still left, when I pull this off, I still left white there. And so we want to make sure that, uh, check it out, you see the slots? So the slits don't show through on my backlit board, but the slots do. All right? 
go ahead and cut your two slots, but don't make them too big. You can always make them larger later. We have cut on our pattern, it's ready to go. And now it's time to add the plate. And that's where the FPG9 gets its name, from foam plate glider, nine inches. And so I'm gonna uh, put this on my desk right here. And I'm gonna now place my pattern on here. Now you wanna make sure you don't put it like that or like that. You want to get it just in the middle so it's even. And I like to push mine up so this part is on a curve and these are right about here. Get it nice and centered. The better you get it centered on your plate, the better it will fly. Once I get it centered exactly where I want it, leaving room for this on the bottom, I'm going to take one piece of tape and tape, hold it down, and tape it right here. So it's taped to my plate. So you can see that piece of tape right there. Here's where the tape is. And now it'll stay in place. So go ahead and center and tape that. And now it's time for us to trace this pattern. Now you can use an ink pen, which works really well, or a pencil. And you want to keep it in place and you want to start tracing this entire pattern. So go ahead and, and I'm going to show you I'm going to trace it like this. Here's my tab. And the, the more I keep it straight, the better. So I'm going to turn this and just go ahead and, and you notice that this foam, when you draw on it with an ink pen, the foam actually kind of squeezes down. Look, I lift that up and I can see where my plane is. So go ahead and trace it. I'm going to trace mine. The important thing is, is try to make it even. When you get back here, Trace the slots and the slits. Here's one slit, here's another slit. Here's my slot, I'm gonna make that even, I'm gonna make the slot a little bit thicker. This is the back of my wing. Take your time, do a nice job. Here's my other slits. So I have my slits and my slots. Now, the nice thing about taping it down, when I lift it up, you can see it just like that. Okay, we've drawn the pattern and traced it onto our foam plate. Since there's two parts to this model, it's now time to remove this. And when I take this off, be careful, you can use it again. And I tore mine, I wasn't very careful. But I need to go back and fill in this part that the tape covered up. There we go. All right, there's one part. I probably am not going to tape this one down. It's a small piece, so I'm going to hold the tail. I'm going to hold the tail. I'm going to line it up right here like this. And now I'm going to trace the tail. All the way around first. You can always rotate. Now if it moves, just put it back in there. And the tail is on the flat part. This is the flat part of the plate. Okay, line it back up, trace it. Okay, so there's my tail, but I've left off the slits and the slot. Here's my slits, ready? One, two. And here's my slot. Make the slot a little bit larger. When I remove my tail, paper, I have my FPG-9 now transferred onto a foam plate. And you might want to save these two parts to make more airplanes with. Go ahead and trace your tail.